Welcome to this tutorial. Today, I will I'll show you how I create the video mockups of app design prototypes at the beginning of my videos. This video is made as per the request of Pritamoy Paul and Anand as they would like to know how I create those presentations. Thanks a lot for the query. I am using Adobe After Effects for creating this. You can use any video editing software of your choice because it is pretty basic stuff. You don't have to be an expert in After Effects to follow this tutorial, it is really simple and straightforward. Let's start by opening up an existing design with a rigged prototype. Click on the desktop preview button. To record in Windows, open the Windows Game Recording tool with the shortcut Windows plus G. Click on the record button to start recording. A recording overlay will appear. Now record the prototype. When you are finished with your recording, press the stop button. The video will be saved to the directory as shown in the notification. You can now preview the video. The recording includes the title bar of the desktop preview window, which looks really bad. Posting this video on portfolios and other websites won't be a good idea. Open Adobe After Effects. Click Next on the welcome screen and create a new project. Go to Composition and select a new composition. Give it a name. As we are creating a full HD video, enter the width and height as 1920 and 1080. Set the frame rate to 30 and duration to 50 seconds and press OK. Drag and drop the video into the project folder. Double click on the composition to open it and place the video inside the composition by dragging and dropping it. Right click into the composition and create a new solid. Pick a blue color using the color picker tool and make it into a lighter shade. Press OK. Drag and drop the new solid under the video layer. Select the layer and press S on the keyboard. This will bring up the scale properties. Make sure the link icon is active. Click and drag on the values to rescale the video. Press the grid and guide option and turn on the title action save. Make sure that the video is inside the inner guides, if not, move it and position it as required. Now we need to make a mask to remove the title bar from the video. Select the video layer by clicking on it. Click and hold on the rectangle tool and select the rounded rectangle tool. Draw on the rectangle on top of the video. This doesn't need to be perfect. Now select the selection tool, click on the video layer, and adjust the anchor points. Do this on all the four sides and make sure that the video is perfectly masked. Now we have the video inside of a rounded rectangle. Now search for drop shadow in the effects and presets window. If you can't see that window, activate it by checking under the window menu in the menu bar. Drag and drop the effect on the video. Now you can see the shadow properties in the properties panel. And change the color of the shadow. If you can't see the properties window, activate it by checking under the window menu in the menu bar. Make adjustments until you get a soft long drop shadow. 
Now make adjustments to the timings of the video Drag through the timeline to see video preview or press spacebar on the keyboard Find a point where you want to start a video Keeping the seek line at that point, press B on the keyboard Drag the seek line and place it where you want the video to end Then press N on the keyboard We have set the duration of the video Right click on the selected work area and select the option Trim composition to work area This will be our final output For saving this, we have to render the video by going to the composition menu For rendering using After Effects, select the option Add to render queue Select the output module Set the format to QuickTime Click on Format Options and set the video codec to H264 and quality to 90 and press OK Set the output folder and start rendering If you couldn't find the QuickTime option inside of Output Module, you might have to install QuickTime Codex, else choose some other video formats We have now completed the tutorial Thanks for watching if you like this tutorial and want to see more videos, like and subscribe to my channel.